Okay, now look at question number 1A. How to solve this equation using substitution method? Um, this is perfect for substitution method because the algebra y is a subject for one of the equation. So then what you have to do? Okay, so what you have to do is that you have to substitute this, the other part here, into where y is. Uh, this is, let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. We sub 1 into 2. Okay, so we have here x plus 2. How do we know we replace here? Because the subject is y. Okay, okay. so we have here 3x plus 1 equals 16. So then we multiply. So we say x, so 2 times 3x and 2 times 1. So 2 times 3x will be 6x. Then 2 times 1 will be 2, so equals to 60. Okay, originally we have one algebra, another algebra, two algebra, one and two algebra in one equation. Now, when you substitute, now we have only x. Okay, so... Now we have um, an equation, a linear equation in one algebra. So what we do next, we move all the, make sure all the x in one side and all the number to the other side. So in this case, we can add x plus 6x will be 7x. Then move the 2 to the other side, we have 16 minus 2. So we have 7x is equals to 14. So if 7x equals to 14, so the value of x will be 14 over 7. Okay, we move that 7 and then the value of x will be 2. So we have got the value of x. But, but we need to know the value of y also. So what we do? There is an equation that we make y as a subject. Take it back. And just substitute x as 2. So, 3 because we know already the value of x. So, 3 times 2 plus 7. 3 times 2 will be 6. 6 plus 1 will be 7. So, we say therefore x equals 2. And y equals to 7. Okay. Now look at question 1b. If you look at here, I did not write one at the top and below at, or another one at the bottom. No. I write down side by side. Why? Because in order to use what we call as substitution method, okay? We have two methods, basically. That is, one is substitution method, another is elimination method. So, in some question, there are uh, one uh, way is better than the other. But I'm going to show you the substitution method first. So, there is no, unlike question A, uh, x plus y equals to 5, there is no subject. Subject means uh, y equals something or x equals to something. Okay? So, uh, we call this equation 1 and equation 2. We decide or we can choose whichever question to make one of the algebra a subject. For example, if I want to make x as a subject here, so I will say x equals to 5 minus 1. Okay? You have to, to pick one of the equation and pick one of the algebra as a subject. Subject means that x equals something like this. Get okay? x only here. Okay? The other side is 1. So then, you have to replace or substitute this into another equation where x is. Because the subject is x, so you replace 
where x is. If you check question number 1a, because the subject is y, you have to substitute in that an another equation where y is. So now, the x is the subject. So at the value of x is 5 minus y. So we have to replace this in, in the other equation where x is. So we write down 2 and the place of x, you replace with this. 5 minus y, then minus y equals 22. Okay, so replace x here. And then the other thing is just copy. Copy this, copy this. Okay, now if you see, we do not have x and y just like equation 1 and equation 2. But now we have only y. Okay, so then we expand the bracket. Then uh, 10, 2 times 5, then 2 times negative y will be negative 2y minus y equals 22. Then, uh, make sure you bring all the numbers to the other side, algebra on one side. Okay? And then in this case, you could calculate this. Negative 2y, negative y means negative 2y minus 1y. So if you press calculator, minus 2, minus 1, or negative 2, negative 1, it will give you negative 3. So it means negative 3y is equals to 22 minus 10. 10 is positive. You bring to the side, become negative 10. So we should calculate. This one still remains. This one should be... 12 so the value of y will be 12 over negative 3 which is negative 4 one of the value of the algebra we got it early so after that take the equation that we have make one of the algebra a subject in this case x is x is 5 minus y and replace y as negative 4. So x is 5 minus y is negative 4. And we have 5 minus minus 4 will come plus 4. The same with 9. Or if you press calculator, 5 minus minus 4, the calculator will give you x equals to 9. So we say therefore x equals to 9 and y equals to negative 4. Okay, any question about this? Alright, you should try again. Now, to, to make sure you really understand, so this one, I took from this equation, make x as a subject. Okay? So I'm not going to uh, going to do C yet, but I'm going to show you that I am free to take whichever equation. For example, I want to take this equation. I I know why I want to make y as a subject. Okay. To do substitution method, make one of the algebra as a subject. For now, I want to take y as subject, and since y is negative, I move y to the other side. And then we have 2x minus 22. 22, positive, bring to the side, become negative 22. So y is 2x minus 22. And, and, so it's okay to make x a subject or y as a subject, equation 1 or equation 2. So now, I will replace this into the other equation where y is. Okay, because the subject is y, I replace this here where y is. So we say x plus y and y replaced with 2x minus 22. And there is no bracket because there is no coefficient for y. y is single. So equals to 5. So this x plus 2x will be 3x and then 5 plus 22.
22 because negative 22 bring to other side become positive 22 so 3x is equals to 27 so x is equal to 27 over 3 so the value of x is 9 similar right so you still get the same answer so and afterwards you take this equation Usually, we don't say 22x minus 22 equals to y. We, most of the time, we say y is equals to 2x minus 22. And now, we have to replace x as 9. So, we say 2 bracket 9 minus 22. So, this one will be 18 minus 22. And the value of y is negative 4. Okay? So, for question C, there are some way that uh, that if you pick something, it's better than the other. What I mean by that is that if you see, coefficient of x is 4, coefficient of y is 3, coefficient of x here is 1. <coughs> so, this equation of y is negative 3. So, it's better or it's preferable if you make this x as a subject from this one, not from this one, not this one. Because if you make this or this as a, a subject, then it becomes a fraction form. So, it's easier make x, this x as a subject. So, x equals to 2 plus 3 y. Okay, so then you replace this value uh, where x is into the other. Okay, so just uh, when you are doing it, uh, make sure that you arrange it not in like my arrangement. Eh? Okay, maybe your teacher will complain to you. Okay, so we have 4x. X replaced with 2 plus 3y plus 3y. Oops. So outside the bracket. So, because this is 4x, this is x equals to 8. Then we expand the bracket. We have 8 plus 12y plus 3y equals to 8. You have to move uh, the value of numbers only to the other side. Here we add, we have 15y is equals to 8 minus 8. So, value of 15y is equal to 0. So, if 15y equal to 0, y is 0 over 15, still 0. Okay? So, at y is 0 and x is 2 plus 3 times 0. Replace y as 0 in the equation, this equation. So, you have 2 plus 0, which is 2. Therefore, x is... 2, y is 0. For this question, I don't have alternative method. It means that I don't have, uh, I am not going to do uh, y as a subject or whatsoever. Okay? Because this is the best. Make x as a subject. Okay. Question D. We have 8x plus 3y equals negative 4. 5x plus 2y equals 6. Finally, we are going to have okay, a fraction from. Okay. For example, if I make x as a subject, I will say 8x equals negative 4, negative 3y. I bring the whole of 3y to the side. So, make x a subject. So, it becomes negative 4, negative 3y over 8. Okay. We cannot... There is no uh, uh, algebra with coefficient of 1. So, 8, 3, 5, and 2. So, it becomes a fraction 4. So, we replace this into the other equation where x is. So, it becomes 5 bracket... Negative 4, negative 3y over 8. Then 
plus 2y equals 6. Okay, now since we have fraction, fraction are complicated. Okay? So we we do not want the fraction. How? You multiply every term with 8. You multiply with 8 here. So this is one term. You multiply with 8. Here is another term. 2y because it's spread, se uh, separated by plus. So you multiply also by 8. And 6 is another term. You multiply also with 8. Okay? Why we multiply by 8? So I can cut here. See, there's no more fraction. Okay? Uh, so, but if you multiply here with 8, you have to multiply every item with 8. So, 5 and this is together. is considered as one term because they are multiplied, not plus. Okay? So now we multiply inside. Expand the bracket. 5 times negative 4. It will be negative 20. 5 times negative 3y will be negative 15y. And then here, you have to multiply 2y times 8 will be 16y. And then 6 times 8 will be 48. And this negative 15y plus 16y, you could calculate that. It will become 1y. 1y we don't usually write 1y. So you move that negative 20 to the other side, become 48 plus 20. So 1y is actually y. The value will be 68. Okay. That is the value of y. So in order to know the value of x, we have to replace it here. Okay. So if you have to, you should write it down. Eh? Because I don't have space anymore. I, I write down be below here. Negative 4, negative 3, and rewrite where y is as uh, 68. So over 8. Okay, so this one, because uh, of the space constraint, I'm going to use calculator. Okay, so you just press calculator. Negative 4, negative 3, uh, and bracket 68 or times 68. Then you press equal. Then you get negative 208. From here, you divide by 8. Then you get negative 26. Okay. So that is the value of x. So therefore, we say x is negative 26. Y is 68.